When wading through a snake-filled jungle bog, remember these rules. Always bring a brave lookout. I'm not coming down there. That bog is filled with snakes. Always bring a king of the jungle. And never, ever pick up a plant. Huh. I wonder what plant this is. Unless you're sure it's really a plant. <gasps> Anaconda! Where? Oh, George! One minute! Ooh, the anaconda has George in a knot. Ooh, a dragonfly knot. That's hard. Uh. Hang on! What to do when attacked by blood-sucking radishes? No! Toenail chewing begonias. No! Carnivorous jungle orchid. That's the one! <gasps> well, here it is. Apply a feather like pressure to its underside. <laughs> Tickle its tummy. <laughs> Everyone okay? I smell cake. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. This is for Ape. Yeah. It's my way of saying thank you to Ape. George says thank you to say thank you. Try that. George, it's a token of my appreciation. Mmm, I'll save your life anytime. <laughs> George, you put termites on my cake. George wants to thank Ape for saving him, too. Mmm, termites on top. <gasps> Okay, that's why I don't bake more often. Ape, I still owe you a thank you. Uh, but not as much as George. <laughs> thank you! Uh, George! George, don't thank you my thank you. This is my thank you. Thank you. Rock a bye, pride, mate. Yeah. Ooh, my turn. <laughs> uh. Now, Ape can count sheep. George, it's not a contest. I'll just go get Ape something else. Listen, bananas. Quit moving or I'll squash you into a smoothie with my bare hands. Hey, let go. I want to give these bananas to Ape. Oh, well, remember to say thank you from George. Oh, look! A giant spider! What? Yeah! Oh. George saw no giant spider. Big Owie. Ho. Uh, five years gymnastics. Ho. Uh. One year little league outfielder and one free introductory class in hip hop. Ursula, look out! Giant spider. Ha ha, nice try. Ah! <laughs> Magnolia, I need a favor. <gasps> you want me to French braid your hair? No. I'm trying to get a really cool thank you present for Ape, but I don't want George to find out. When he comes here, don't let him follow me or tell him where I went, okay? Ooh, acting! You can count on me! Why, <laughs> oh. well, hello, George. You look thirsty. Can I pour you some lemonade for the next three hours? Uh, where's Ursula? Ursula who? Hmm. Ursula went. Oh, oh all right. Uh, we'll... mm. <laughs> Here, yes? your very own leopard kitty. Here, Ape, your very own leopard mommy. 
Witch Doctor, I need your help to hide me from George and Ursula. No problem. Ha! My bill. That's no way to hide an ape. There. Say, that's a nice lamp. I should put you in my office. Not what I had in mind. Maybe my ancient invisibility potion will do the trick. Invisibility potion? There's no such thing, you quack. Well, then what do you call this, you know-it-all? Where did you go? Oh, now look what you've done. Typical. Hey, where are you? <laughs> Magnolia, you've got to save me from George and Ursula. I was just asking my diary what's gotten into those two. Well, it started with one of them thanking me. I deserve that one. But then the other one thanked me. Then the other one, and now everybody's thanking me. Everybody? Sounds trendy. I'm in. What? What? No, no, not you two, please. Thank you for being my friend. And for being smart and furry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't friends save each other's lives without killing each other? Oh, absolutely. Oh, sure. I think so. Yes, yes. <sighs> Good. Finally, some peace. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at me! <laughs> nice grab, Magnolia. Way to go! Oh, thanks, guys! <laughs> Like a curse. What, saying thank you? Ah! Wow, did that happen just because George said thank you? Ah! Now, don't worry, we're safe. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Thank you, Mother Nature. Ah! <laughs> okay, we'll get out of this. Just don't say those two words. Or else that giant spider might eat us. Ah! 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 Hi, big guy. We sure were lucky your web caught us. We could have hurt ourselves. And for that, I'd like to say... Don't do it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you! Daddy? What? You've never seen invisible doctors flying a lawn chair? Uh, no, I, no. I can't say that. Uh -huh. 
And so, our fearless hero flexed his fabulous flyboy muscles and flew his friends back to Pivot Pie Patient. Uh, civilization. What? No thank you? If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want. And don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. <coughs> Stop! I'm awake! I'm up! Oh! Ah! <laughs> George? George, time to get up. Uh... George don't want to get up. <laughs> oh, little me trapped in metal. <laughs> hey, George can feed himself. <laughs> uh, frog? Oh, super big. No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> Frog magic! <sighs> hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George needs you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <laughs> How else George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey. It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah, little George scared too. Everything okay, George? George can't find way out. Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water. <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> what do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? It looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. It alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh... It go home to meet friends, plan revenge. And then the good jungle king George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. Good night, eh? It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! <sighs> what? No, 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 that'll never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there, much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate! Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial! polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on! It's okay. I just want to talk! 
to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him. But he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding. I invented it. <laughs> that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank you. Goodness, you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, I got him good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. And my birthday. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was out counting trees. You know, one, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey. There's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco tank that shoots out trees? Ew, that's so goody goody. I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm, if you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon. Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done. We've got about an hour until Cuspid and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson! Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cuspid, get out of there this minute! George, come down and I'll explain everything. No! Not till Ape and Doctor make up to George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Forget Please. it. No problem! It's only right. Quickly! Aren't you idiots? 
idiots will explode themselves. And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. <laughs> Into a, a plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. Phew! That too close for George. No kidding! I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Cuspid, my life would be far too easy. Ooh. Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? Size 14 feet. But that does not halt him from his hyperhuman heroic hijinks. Another great one, George. You have to teach me how to do that. What is it, George? What do you hear? Hmm, it's something George doesn't hear. Uh-huh, yep, okay, sure. Not that one. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hey. <laughs> Hiya! I'm George. You know, of the jungle. So, you're a sloth, eh? How's that going for you? I hope all that cheering for George's bravery in the face of danger didn't bother you. <laughs> See, the thing is, George loves all animals. And all animals love George. Nothing. Something must be wrong. George will take you to see the doctor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops. I say. Well, what is it, witch doctor? What is it, Ursula's dad? Hey, get your own office. I'm poking for evil spirits here. Witch doctors. <laughs> There's no such thing as evil spirits. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? I am listening to his heartbeat. Ha! Scientist! There's no such thing as a heartbeat. <laughs> Your sloth obviously needs demon extracting power. <laughs> Demons usually play something jazzier. Now let's try some real medicine. My new invigoration serum, fortified with real plant extracts. Bone realigning dust. Anti wrinkle cream. Percolate lamp potion. With both added. Now see what all your nutty hokey pokus does. Hokey pokus? I'll hokey pokus you right into Volcano Mountain, the really hot part. Wait! Why doesn't Sloth clap for George? Maybe he just, just doesn't like, like you. you. I was gonna, gonna say that. that. <laughs> Not like George? <laughs> What is it, George? 
Sloth doesn't like George. The only animal in the jungle that doesn't like George. Well, just forget about him then. Okay, yeah, good. I'll forget about Sloth. Starting now. Oh. Hi. Hi, George. Well, did you forget Sloth? No. And you are... Operation Make Sloth Like George is a go. Sloth will never even know we're here. And you really think we can help George like this? Testing. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Alpha Beta Cameroon. Pretty Lady calling Jungle King. Hey! I want to be Pretty Lady. Jungle King. Come in. Okay. Start with a handshake. Hey, neighbor, put her there. Oh. Remind him about how you saved the baby owls. So, George sure saved those baby owls, huh? Tell him his hair is pretty. George's not gonna say that. Give me something else, quick. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Bad giraffe, too. Oh, I'll try that. Bad giraffe. No, George, be honest with your feelings. Uh, good giraffe? No, give him a present. Feelings. Present. Feelings. Present. Feelings. He needs a present. Time for George and Sloth to have quiet talk all by themselves. Okay, too quiet. I'll start. Nice day out. You know what? Now I'm getting mad. This king of the jungle has had it with you, mister. We are through. Done. D U N G done. Phew. Wow. Glad we worked that out. Now Sloth and George can just be Sloth and George. Hug time. BFs forever. And you, you were like, whoa, and, he, and it was, <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <sighs> Good times. George doesn't know how to say this, but I think we need some time apart. Whew, that was hard. Oh, it's not forever. George promises. Oh, don't make sad face. You're breaking George's heart. I'm just going to walk away and not look back, okay? George will come back soon. Oh, uh, oh uh, start again. Hey, George. Oh, hey, other best friends. How's it going with Sloth? He wants to do everything together. I'm like, whoa, Sloth, <laughs> too much. Really, George? Uh, sort of. Want to play? You betcha. George has to take his mind off of Sloth and all the fun things we did. Running with Sloth and eating with Sloth. <laughs> Laughing and, and singing with Sloth. <laughs> Clog dancing. Oh, the dance. George, if you're that obsessed with Sloth, why don't you just hang out with him? Ha! Obsessed? You're right. Sloth ever. Oh. Slothy, I'm coming! <laughs> there you are! George is back! Oh no! Stampede coming! Sloth, buddy! Listen to George! Don't panic, okay? Just stay very still! That's good! Nobody messes with Sloth! Oh! New plan. Oh, oh, ow. Close one. 
fun. Is Slug okay? Of the rarest and most exotic of jungle fauna, the Flooper Beast is famous for exactly two things. Its luxurious feather fur, worth millions on the runways of Paris, Milan, and Saskatchewan. And of course, <sighs> floofing. But since we can't actually show floofing for reasons of common decency, we'll have to do this. That's right, floof away while Tiger gives you hippies a laser-guided haircut. <laughs> what? <laughs> this jungle's supposed to be my personal huntopia, paid for by selling tiny, floofy clothes to models all over the world. But no matter what I try, that George of the jungle is always in the way. The stubbly net launcher. <laughs> The Macho Pit Trap. The positively dripping with testosterone rope snare. Maybe we could get him out of the way first? Top notch brain work, Weevil, and bottom rung timing. Why didn't your brain butter this up earlier? You know, maybe we Ow! could get George out of the. Way first. Why out, we won't. Maybe, maybe we could get George out of the way first. Why, we won't. Maybe we could get George out. No, no reason. Come, Weevil. Catching that fool will be the simplest of gambits. We have everything we need. Last. Are you a prince? We won't. Hold your lips. One, there's no kissing in the jungle. And two, this is a poisonous no-licky frog. And it's exactly what we need. Yes, the no-licky frog. One of nature's cruelest inside jokes. Years ago, they were actually known as, wow, you've really got to try this. Go on, give it a good licky, frogs. This was due to their unique flavor, which has been described as butterscotch mixed with happy memories of childhood. The frogs got so tired of being licked that they held a vote. It was unanimous. They wanted the licking to stop. They presented their idea to the Ape Council. But the Council had one of their own. <laughs> now, trap me a hundred more for morning. I'm taking a strategic eye nap. in your mouth. Oh, George got a little crazy with coconut milk last night. Rare head medicine. George, late for front patrol! Ooh, are you a prince? George, another late morning? Ooh, what a mess of strange flesh-like pudding. Hold on! 
Turtle, turtle. Worst case of no licky frog poisoning I've seen this week. Fix George. Yes, please tell us there's a... There's no cure. It's incurable. The way I see it, your days as king are done. Surely there are options. There are tons of options for someone in your condition. George can be a pro run. Modern art. It's a dome. But George, you know what? Don't interrupt me when I'm on a roll, son. A hammock. Better than cardboard. An oversized coaster. No! George Jungle King, not Jungle Coaster! Looper Beast need George! Uh, little help here. I'll get the bucket. You're a fancy one, but not for long. Stop, rapscallions! Let George at Hunters! <laughs> No time for nap! George stuck! George, not give up! Floofing happened here. Extra floofy. They can't be far. Yeah! George from above! Good. Mad Eagle! Put George down! George, order Eagle! Take George back to. Oh. Hold on, flipper beast! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I'm coming! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 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 oh. Well. Must lose faster! Oh, George will stop you! Well. George failed, Floofer Beasts. George no good to anyone. Floof! Maybe one thing George can do. Oh, George bad king, but good blanket. Wait, George have brain thought thing. Wait, no, stop, Floofer Beasts! George Collywell here, because George need help stopping Tiger and Weevil. What happened to you? He licked a no-licky frog. One of these? Wait! <laughs> oh, yeah! Tastes like life! George, have idea, but need sewing machine and friends with bones. You floofed your last floof. Someone's poaching my flooper beast! George can still be good king with help. You itchy! Put hair on outside next time! Put on your shearing pants, Weevil. You've got feathers to shave. No one gets to jump on Tiger! Let the flooper beast go! Yes, do that now! It's nap time! That isn't sporting. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, man. George, go save Floofer Beast. I love you, Ape. <laughs> Woo! Feathers in a can! Now the Flooper Beast won't have to suffer. I never would have thought this up without my new lab coat. George helped Magnolia do science. You bet! Hey! Knock it off! This is a kid's show! Magnolia! Uh, George, no can turn away! Yes! <laughs> Leotard? Too retro. How about a nice blazer? Too fancy. Sorry, George, but we're running out of clothes to turn you into. George! I'm going to turn you into an amazing dress! And how that stop Tiger and Weevil? And since when do you care about dresses? Okay, it won't, and I don't. But the science awards are coming up, and I'll be the only one there wearing another human being! How cool is that? Right. How about a nice apron? 
Ape, it's time to stop fooling around. And turn into my living dress? No. George, have to hit Tiger where it hurts. <sighs> George, perfect fit. Get off me! I only wear natural fibers. Way more! No! Bad Hunter Man wear George jacket from now on! Hey, make king of jungle strong as me can be! He ah, 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 ah. wants to Sweaters don't sing! Run to me and me! Ah, me want that for that tree! Yeah. Me, me, king of jungle strong as me can be! Finally. <laughs> <laughs> By Hemingway's ghost, I had a horrible dream. Really? Tell George about it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Ooh. Now George Bellytop. Daring. Like so many men before, I have been defeated by fashion. Tiger? No, Weevil. Turn away before I... Man cry. <laughs> I'll give you anything if you'll just unbutton yourself and slip off my shoulders, sweater man. Tiger promise to leave Floofer Beast alone? Yes! I swear it! High five, eh? Uh, yes, um... George, you moved! You're getting better! You were wrong. I guess that's what happens when you're not a real doctor. Oh. I thought you'd be thrilled. Uh, George just found pattern for scarf. An eight birthday coming. George, I'd wear you any day. 